such just a... know everybody. <sighs> you know, <laughs> friends with everybody. That's because they skated, skated for five thousand years. <laughs> he is a dinosaur. Been through every generation. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. You missed us. I know you did. I, yes. I hear I and us. smell your tears. <laughs> <laughs> that was creepy. Uh. <laughs> We're here to, you know, um, re. What do we call it? <laughs> what is it when you ah recap? We're recap. Twenty twenty is off to a great start, guys. <laughs> Figure skating, let's do this. Right. Canadian Nationals. There was uh, a wardrobe malfunction. Uh, Edges actually got snatched. Yes, yes. Uh, was so good. Sadovsky carrying that momentum into the national championship. First pun of 2020. Ah. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. And uh, Canadian women's podium in line with international teenage dominance. The tweens shall inherit the earth. I stand to podium at Nationals. First place, Piper Gillis, Paul Poirier. Second, Marjorie Lajoie, Zachary Lega. And third, Carolyn Sosis and Shane Furis. First up, Piper Gillis, Paul Poirier. Winning, actually, they are very first national gold medal. I know, I keep forgetting this. I, yeah. I, I feel like they've won nationals Me too. before. Me too. A good event for them, but there was some uh, little bit of fun, weird things that happened, especially in yes. their uh, short dance. Yes. Piper getting her hair caught in Paul's Hayden button. <laughs> Literally snatched her hair. You can, you know, crap like that happens. Like I've had malfunctions with uh, zippers. Yep. One yep. time I actually yep. was on a practice and my shirt has come out of my zipper in my pants. So I was getting one of those little shirt weeders. <laughs> shirt weeders. Shirt weeders. Hashtag shirt weeder. Yeah. <laughs> Started here, guys. <laughs> they skated an actually beautiful program. I love that short dance so much. Yeah. When I watch yeah. it, I get literally giddy and I want to jump on the ice with them and tap dance my troubles away. There, <laughs> there are so many, so many troubles. Free dance was amazing too. Yes. You know, I, lo I love that free dance. We've talked about it all season. Yeah. People have been raving about it. I think they delivered a beautiful performance, mm -hmm. sealed the deal, won their national title. Thank you very much. With a new Canadian record. Yes, with a new Canadian, Canadian record. actually beat Tess and Scott in uh, you know, Sparks at Nationals, which is pretty huge for them. Big Snaps ups for, for, for continents and worlds. Yep. They're going to do great things. Uh, heading over to second place, Zachary Laga and Marjorie Lajoie. New team, I think this is their first year as a senior? Yes. Love their attack. They're a very fast team. A lot of potential. I really love his energy behind all the he's, he's a He's a mini Scott. Yeah. He's all a I see showman. is young Scott. He's yeah. got that spunk. <laughs> he's got that fire. He's yeah. like... He's out there and he cocky, wants, he grabs yeah. your attention. I, yeah. He's really good at it. Yeah. And uh, most likely, I guess we uh, will see what happens with Worlds because I think they're going to send everyone to four continents and uh, we don't know what's going to happen with uh, mm -hmm. Lawrence Bedroy and uh, Right. Yeah, he's recovering now. from knee surgery. So, so we'll see, we'll see how that there. goes. I don't think they're in a rush to get back. Yeah. I think they'd rather heal properly and make sure they're ready for next season. But third place was also Shane Ferris and Carolyn Sosis. Um, they actually had a few missteps in the free dance and the rhythm dance, but uh, were able to secure a third place finish. He's also has so much personality. Yes. He really like yeah. takes over the ice. I mean, she does a great job, but I, I think he really shines. Yeah, I definitely team. watch him a lot more. I always mm -hmm. find she comes in and out of the program, but yeah, we'll see what happens again for some. Yeah, for four continents will be interesting. Yeah. Let's move into the men's event. Man! First place, Roman Sadovsky. Second place, Nam Yuen. And third place, Keegan Messing. Roman Sadovsky taking his first national title. Kind of, not really coming out of nowhere, but he wasn't the favorite going in, so to speak. I don't it, think everyone had their money on him. It was always surprising to me that he was never able to crack through at nationals. Like, internationally, he would do decently well. Mm -hmm. uh, but always at nationals, he just seemed to falter and just not even make the podium. So, you know. First time on the podium and to the top. I, there's cool. been a few years now where I've early on before national said Roman looks really comfortable. Mm. His jumps are starting to look really easy for him. It was really nice to see in both programs he had this calm about him and this confidence. He was tacking things off like it was a checklist and he was in the moment. So proud. In second place, Nam, the reigning Canadian champion, didn't defend his title, did enough to stay in second place. After Kind of Keegan faltered. Nam had it right there waiting for him, and he just couldn't seize the moment. He started out a little slow, a little rough, and uh, pulled it back together. He was able to fight back, yeah. yeah, but it was a little bit too late. 
And then Keegan, the same thing happened? Keegan, the same thing. After a beautiful short program uh, dedicated to his wife who was in the crowd, actually apparently made eye contact with her before he nailed his triple axel, which is so sweet. Came out and had a rough free skate. Uh, I think all of all of us were very much rooting for him after the difficult year he's had. But just wasn't able to pull it together. But what I really love to see between well, them and Keegan especially, they got like this bromance going. It's uh, really, really sweet. Like the it's way they compliment, yeah, they compliment each other on the kissing crowd. Like, man, you were great. No, man, you were great. No, you were great. It's Just so Canadian. Back. It's so Canadian. To the pairs. To the pairs. Hold hands for the segment. My hands get very sweaty. All right, yep. first place. Apparently. <laughs> oh, all right. Podium, first place. Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinero. Second place, Evelyn Walsh, Trent Michaud. And third, Lubov. Ilyushetskina. Thank you. And Charlie Bilodeau. I still, I look at the name and get frightened and I run away. <laughs> right. Let's start with the top. Let's start yeah. with the gold medalist, my first ex-partner of the podium. Yeah. Um, so Kirsten and Mike, uncharacteristic mistake on the jump in the short and in the free by Kirsten. She is super solid. Yeah. I actually think it's not necessarily a bad thing that those jump mistakes happen because but this kind of, you know, lights a fire. Get, getting going into four continents in the world. I know Kirsten, she's going to be hungry. She's going to she, want to fix that. And yeah. She hates making mistakes. Yes, she, she does. wants to like correct those like right away. Now. Uh, she I, wants work on this right yeah, now. Yeah, she's like right now so I can land the super <laughs> yeah, toes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I love their programs this year. That short program is my favorite pair of short program this season. Mm -hmm. uh, that ending position that became deep and delicious deep yeah, that they deep do. Dish, yeah, deep dish. Oh, I like love Mariana's it so much. trench deep I, <laughs> dip. <laughs> They're definitely world class, and like I think we were talking earlier in the season before on the Grand Prix, how, how a lot of the pair programs were lacking that sophistication with uh, connection to music and choreography. They definitely have that package, and I think if they, uh, you know, skate well and for continents and worlds, I definitely can see them like, on the podium. They're in the mix, so good on you guys. Good on you guys. Uh, moving on to silver, Evelyn and Trent, uh, you know, they just walshed into second there. <laughs> Me show happy. Honestly? Yeah. Thank you. That to you. Mm. you know, with two names mm. up in there in one sentence. Yes, yes, you yes. Know, that takes, that's craft. Trent and Evelyn have, have, have taken, a, uh, you know, they put a lot of attention into their second mark and mm. their qualities. You, and it wasn't just clean, it was a moment. Mm. They really grabbed the audience. Everyone stood for them. There was a lot of energy in the building. I really applaud them for that because yep. I, it's something that isn't always seen in pairs often. It's like until you get to the high rank. So yep. to see them finally making that leap, it's really, really nice. To see. Yeah. Bronze medalists, my other ex-partner, <laughs> Lubov and Charlie. Uh, first year together. Unfortunately, things started unraveling in the second half of the program, and I'm not sure if there was a bit of excitement, a bit of anticipation for the result or the end of the program and trying to get it done mm. moving forward, making sure they clean that stuff up, making sure that they're able to stay connected and stay connected to the present moment. And, and Agreed. I, I, I really like their, their skating quality, too. For a new team, they're actually quite well matched. and they're Very, very well staff. matched. Yeah, it's top three teams were excellent there's some good stuff happening below them mm -hmm. um you know new teams forming pairs in canada is kind of like a new landscape mm -hmm. and uh it's interesting to see it evolve and I, yeah there was a lot was, of novices and juniors as well yep so, yeah, yeah really some nice stuff happening yeah. and uh feeling good about pairs in canada yeah. good job let's head on to the women women the little women little uh, women. the little women because the entire podium you know, keeping up with international tradition is all 16 year olds. Uh, first place, Emily Bausbach. Second, Allison Schumacher. And third, Madeline Skeezus. Emily and Allison are 17. Madeline Skeezus, 16. Still older than the Russian girls. <laughs> so. Emily Bausbach. She is from BC. Yeah. Had a, a nearly flawless skate in the three, uh, just popping one jump. But I really like her attack. She has so much power. Uh, her jumps kind of remind me of Wakaba Haiguchi and Ki, uh, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rika Kihara. Yeah. Like she's got this 
A lot of athleticism. A lot of athleticism, and then yeah. the way she kind of rebounds off the knee to like do a nice flowing edge on her landings. She could have, I thought, for me, a little bit more emotion throughout the program. She really turned it on after she had finished all her jumps. Right. But uh, again, <laughs> young, young, yeah, yes, <laughs> very yes, young, and yes. tons of potential. Yeah. I don't think she really computed that she might win. No. And. <laughs> That's maybe why she did, was because she kind of just let it go. Yeah. You know, she didn't hold that anticipation of a result. Uh, at least that's what it looked like. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I did. I yeah. did. That wasn't in her head. Yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't really know much about her skating before this. No idea. Which is cool. It's fine. We know your name now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're the Canadian <laughs> yeah, champion. Yeah, yeah. We know you. Yeah, Ali bounced back. Yeah, yeah, of course I know. I've been knowing her all uh, the whole obviously, time. Obviously, yeah. you I'm going to be a bad wagon. That's what I do. Get with the program. <laughs> uh, second place, Allison Schumacher. Actually, I think one of the at least only clean programs in the last group. I'm so happy for Ali. I, I used to train with her. She is such just a- just know everybody. You know? <laughs> train with everybody. That's because I skated for 5,000 years. <laughs> he is a dinosaur. Been through every generation. <laughs> She's so talented. She's got this like light, whimsical quality to her skating, mm -hmm. um, which is really endearing. Yeah. Even her jumps are like adorable. <laughs> you know? They're so- <laughs> gentle and easy looking and, and there's she does this, have a really nice light quality to yes her skate. there is and um much like emily the facial expression will come actually the whole podium all the girls kind of <laughs> skated a little deadpan until yeah. they finished and then you know kind of let yeah. it come through a bit that'll come with time yes and okay. i think it's a bit of a trade-off to see a brand new podium with mm. teenagers that you know have never been on it mm. and uh exciting stuff yeah. And then I guess we should just give a quick mention to Gabby. Yeah, uh, you know, always hard to watch. Gabby has been one of the staples in mm. Canadian women's skating for the last number of years. Very successful, has been at the forefront of pushing women's skating in the country forward. Obviously, she's struggling right now. Uh, we wish her nothing but the best and, and hope that, you know, she's able to turn it around. Yep. Good luck, Abby. And unfortunately, Aurora Kotov, last year's Aurora. silver medalist, was mm -hmm. injured and unable to complete the, uh, the competition. So to drop with the back injury. Yeah, so hopefully she heals well yeah. and um, we see her strong and ready next season. Yeah. Oh, uh, very interesting national championships. Mm -hmm. uh, very exciting to see what happens moving forward towards uh, Four Continents and Worlds. Our Four Continents team um is not necessarily our world team only kirsten and mike and piper and paul have been named to the world team as We're well as uh zachary and marjorie as well as zachary and marjorie yeah. so thank you again for joining us we're so happy to be back uh, hope you guys love this episode as much as you guys have loved all the other ones yeah at least that's what my mom Keep says up those intense intense comments i love vitriol honestly i love the mess it's great it's fun yell at me more it makes me makes me stronger <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. You're welcome.